So here we have an eastern garter snake. Notice the striped pattern. And it's actually flattened itself out. It's actually uh, about a third less wide, but it's trying to pretend that it's big and bad. And in fact, I'm going to go near now and you'll see it actually strike at me. Now, even if it strikes me, it's not a big deal. Come on, buddy. <laughs> and if I can get these leaves out of the way. This is one of our most common snakes and is now the Virginia State Snake as of February in 2016. So here's our state, our state snake pretending to be big and bad, puffed itself up and is uh, giving a display. Tongue's going in now as it tastes the air. And one way to tell this from ribbon snakes, if, you can, if I can get a, a side view of it, is you'll actually see the scales along the lips are lined in black, which is different than um, ribbon snakes, which have a little white spot before the eye. They're both in the same genus, but that's a big difference between the two. Although it's kind of hard to see on this particular individual. I'm going to try to get them turned this way so you can see the side. And maybe you can see the, maybe you'll be able to see the scales on the side. Eastern garter snake, the Virginia state snake, basking here in a May afternoon in Great Falls, Virginia. Eastern garter snake, again, it's, it's puffed up. I don't know if you see how flat it is compared to its tail, how it's widened out all of its ribs. See how wide it is here? It's showing you that it's uh, doubled up in size to try himself look big and bad. Um, it's cold, but it's already struck a few times. This is the most cold tolerant of all of our snakes. 